Good afternoon student. This is your English language period. Student, today I will explain you chapter 19 participles. Chapter 19 participles. Student, today I will explain you chapter 19 participles. Chapter 19 participles. Definition of participles. A participle is a form of a verb used as either an adjective or a part of certain tenses. Student, the definition of participle is a participle is a form of a verb used as either an adjective or a part of certain tenses. For example, number one, hearing the roar, the hunter rushed out. Number two, he is walking in the park. There are two kinds of participle, the present participle and the past participle. First of all, I will explain you about the present participle. The present participle is always active. It denotes an incomplete action or state and it always ends in ing. Just like I can hear her singing a song. We met a boy carrying a basket of fruits. Do you see the girl riding on the horse? Number two, the past participle. Now I explain you about past participle. The past participle denote an action or state which is completed and hence is no longer in progress. The past participle used adjectively is passive if the verb from which it comes is transitive. It ends in en and ed, d or t as just look these examples terrified. They stood crowded together. We saw the trees laden with mangoes. Blinded by lightning he fell senseless. Driven by fury the lion attacked the hunter. Now I explain you what is the use of participle in a sentence. It is possible to, to join two sentences together by making use of participle. Student, if you want to join two sentences together, you can use participles. So, you can join two sentences very easily. Just for example, number one, the hunter took careful aim. He shot the lion. Now, you want to join these two sentences together. So, you can use participle for joining these two sentences. Just like taking careful aim. The hunter shot the lion. Number two, the children saw the teacher, they ran away. Now, if you want to join these two sentences together by the use of participle, so you can see how it is joined. Seeing the teacher, the children ran away. Student, this is exercise A. Combine the following pairs of sentences using a participle. The first, uh, the first one has been done for you as an example. I explain you this example so that you can understand very easily how you can use participle for joining two sentences. Okay, number one is there are two guards outside. They are waiting to meet you. Now you can see uh, how they, can, they join these two sentences by using of participle. Just look at this example. There are two guards outside waiting to meet you. Okay. There are two guards outside. Now they have to write waiting to meet you. There are two guards outside waiting to meet you. Now second example. Tomorrow there will be another bus. It will take you to school. Now how you can join these two sentences by the use of participle. Just look at this example. This, the, look at this answer. Tomorrow there will be another bus taking you to school. Number three, the police fired tear gas shells they hopped to frighten away the mob. Now you can join these two sentences by the use of participle. Just look at this answer. The police fired tear gas shells 
hoping to frighten away the mob. Number four, don't step on the mouse trap. It is lying in the doorway. Now you can join these two sentences together by the use of participles, just like don't step on on the mouse trap lying in the doorway. Don't step on the mouse trap lying in the doorway. Okay, now you can understand how these two sentences are joining by the use of participles. Number five, the boy is my brother. He is taking the salute in the march past. Now you can write just like the boy taking the salute in the march past is my brother. Number six, we found him. He was hiding under the under the bed. You can write we found him hiding under the bed. Number seven, he was whistling whistling loudly. He walked into the garden. He was whistling loudly. He walked into into the garden. You can join these two sentences by the use of participle, just like whistling loudly. He walked into the garden. Number eight. This is the pamphlet. It gives you all the information on the district. Now you can write just like this is the pamphlet giving you all the information on the district. Number nine. We noticed some men. They were digging up the road. You can write we noticed some men digging. Up the road. Number ten. The signboard is broken. It is lying outside the house. You can write the broken signboard lying outside the house. So, student, this is exercise A. Now you can understand. You can join two sentences together by the use of participle. Now, exercise B. Put in any suitable present participle. So. Just like number one, walking down, he tied his shoelaces. Number two, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Number three, we saw her lying unconscious on the floor. Number four, the man standing beside the car is my father. Number five, being hungry, the tiger went to hunt for food. Number six, the smoke coming from the burning houses was thick and black. Number seven, I found a secret door opening to the treasure room. Student, first of all, in your copy, you have to write the definition of participle and also you ha have to write example of participle in your copy. After that, you have to write two kinds of participle. The present, you have to write about the present participle. After that, you have to write about the past participle. And in your copy, you have to write exercise A also and exercise B. Okay. I repeat again. First of all, you have to write the definition of participle and example of participle. You have to write the definition of participle and example in your copy. After that, you have to write two kinds of participle you have to write about present participle with example and you have to write the past participle with example after that you have to complete exercise a and exercise b in your copy